let me give a very warm welcome to Laura Rotter. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Jody. All right, so let's start this story with a little bit of background. I work for Planned Parenthood Pacific Southwest, which is headquartered in San Diego, California. All Planned Parenthoods are affiliates of Planned Parenthood Federation of America, or PPFA, in New York City. And the amazing Cecile Richards is our national PPFA president. Here at my affiliate, we cover the three county region of San Diego, Riverside, and Imperial County. It's a unique mix of urban and rural areas, which give rise to recruitment challenges in and of itself. We have 17 health centers in our region, 450 employees, and an annual operating budget of 60 million. And we care for over 137,000 patients annually. And we do a lot more than many people know. In just our three county area, we see those 137,000 patients, which equals 278,000 patient visits. In the last year, over 63,000 people at schools, churches, and community events received health education and information from our community and government's relations teams. We trained over 1,000 professionals, think high school teachers and the like, to be able to provide reproductive and sexual health education to their students in the community. And our almost 200 volunteers gave over 4,000 hours. And finally, 96% of our patients would recommend our services to their family and friends. And then nationally, we see over 2.5 million patients every year. Most of our healthcare is provided by nurse practitioners and physician assistants, or as we call them, clinicians. Okay, so now that you have a little background, let's talk about the employer branding journey. If we look back to 2015-16, we started to notice a change in our clinician talent acquisition efforts. The competition for talent in general was heating up, and in particular for healthcare, the ACA, Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, had provided insurance coverage for millions more Americans, meaning that someone needed to provide that care. So as the healthcare system adapted, to the change, many more opportunities for nurse practitioners and physician assistants became available and the competition for talent started to heat up. We had talked for years about developing our employer brand, but it always got pushed to the back burner as the next fire situation emerged. So boy, did we find ourselves unprepared as the competition for talent became more and more intense. We just didn't have the tools we needed to give candidates the information they wanted. Information about what it's like to work for Planned Parenthood. What's an average day like? What benefits do we provide? What kind of training do we do for new grads? Our recruitment team was having to spend way too much time with each candidate attempting to provide them with that information, the information they needed to make a decision to join the organization. We decided it was finally time to partner with our creative agency, Brandemics, to finally develop our employer brand. So our project goal was to create an authentic and differentiated employer value proposition for Planned Parenthood Pacific Southwest to drive the recruitment, retention, and engagement of talented professionals. We wanted to answer the question, why should the healthcare professionals we want to employ choose to work for us? What is it that makes us so special? In short, what is our employer brand? So we embarked on a multi-pronged discovery process that included a stakeholder ideation session where Brandemics facilitated an interactive session with cross-functional cross members from talent acquisition, marketing, and learning and development. We also did an extensive clinician outreach questionnaire that went to our current staff. We had input from our in-house marketing team and from PPFA, the newly launched In This Together service ethos and workplace values. The timing was perfect that the PPFA service ethos and workplace values 
launched just as we were starting our journey and gave us a platform to build from. Brandemics collected information from the discovery process to help build the structure of their employer branding model. The clinician survey and ideation session both sought to truly understand what it is like to work for Planned Parenthood Pacific Southwest. They gathered the words that describe our organization and culture. You see powerful, innovative, mission-driven, proud, fast-paced, evolving. And they wanted to know what are the attributes of people who will succeed here. So you see passionate, professional, proud, community-driven, accountable, engaged. And of course, they wanted to know about our offerings that separate us from other healthcare providers. Candidates are often surprised to learn that we pay at or above market and have a robust benefits package. We also have a thorough training and onboarding program, professional development, very strong ethics and integrity, and diversity. And they wanted to know what it feels like to work for Planned Parenthood, the emotive quantification of our brand. So you see passionate, excited, fulfilled, and proud. This is my heart space job, like what I do actually makes a difference. So from all the information they gathered, Brandemics developed the architecture of our employer brand. And they started with the foundation of the PPFA values. This is how we act. We tend to the team. We respect and honor all people. Jump in, try and learn, care for our business, and we return to our mission. The next layer is why what we are doing. We are making a difference in progressive health care for women. And the four pillars are the why and how we do it better. Pillar one, we are set up for success. Our 100-year history of service coupled with the size and stability of our affiliate means we are set up for success. Pillar two, we make it safe. This is really a triple meaning. We are a judgment-free zone. You can bring your whole self to work. Some people often feel like they have to be one person at work and another person outside. That can be exhausting. We wanted to capitalize on that. And the third is physical safety. Pillar three, we are the experts. We are at the forefront of women's reproductive health technology. We are thought leaders in the space and hire top candidates from top schools. And pillar four, we bring method to the mission. This is a metrics-driven, procedural-based, professional culture and run like a business. More money equals more mission. This helps draw people in as well as helping others self-select out. Some people internally were surprised that we wanted to address these four topics so directly, but these were the questions our recruiters were getting every day. We really had to answer them. And then our reward. We are the power of Planned Parenthood. And our brand positioning in this together, tying back in the PPFA values to be the base and the overlay of all we are and do. to ultimately develop our employer brand architecture. So starting from the bottom, this is how we act. Tend to the team, respect and honor, jump in, try and learn. We care for our business and return to the mission. This is what we're doing. We are making a difference in progressive healthcare for women. And this is why we're doing it better. We are set up for success. We make it safe. We are the experts. We bring method to the mission. Our reward, we are the power of Planned Parenthood and our brand position in this together. Which ultimately brought us to our value proposition and manifesto. We are the power of Planned Parenthood. 
We are Planned Parenthood of the Pacific Southwest, one of the largest and most prominent affiliates of the most iconic healthcare organization in the world. We are recognized for the wide array of services we provide and the outstanding education we deliver. We are a prominent and powerful team of health experts who work relentlessly to help our communities sustain their health and well-being. We adhere to the highest standards and protocols as we collaborate and care for our patients without judgment. 100 years of advocating for our mission has secured our funding, our future, and our passion for practicing healthcare. We are a team you can have fun with and a powerful movement you can be part of. Together, we'll take pride in shaping the future of sexual health and reproductive justice. For those who feel that purpose is critical to their work, this is a gift in this together. Pretty powerful stuff. So once we finalize the employer brand architecture, uh, Brandemics got to work on the deliverables. They started by developing a mood board um, and they use the color scheme from the PPFA, Planned Parenthood Federation, in this together values to help tie it through from recruitment to employment. That's pretty amazing. They really get it. They developed a note card for us to use in our correspondence, our amazing careers website. We did an email launch to everyone in our applicant tracking system and all other contacts announcing the new site. And really what I call the PS de resistance are videos. So for those of you out there who are just embarking on your employer branding journey, and even those who have it more fully fleshed out, one suggestion I have is to always be thinking about how you can take advantage of the everyday things that are going on at your organization. We captured employee testimonials during a lunch break at an all hands meeting. We just hired a videographer, I think he was $500 and then had Brandemics create the full video using clips from the testimonials and some B-roll footage for our marketing department. Watch and see what we were able to do. Working at Planned Parenthood has been one of the best experiences I've had. It's a job that goes beyond uh, employment, it goes into personal satisfaction. It's an incredible opportunity to learn how to help people and how to, you know, make a difference. Planned Parenthood offers something that is unique. It offers growth and opportunity, not just, you know, throughout the clinic itself, but through the entire affiliate, which is really, really cool and I think gives you something to work towards as a clinician. I work at different clinics and every clinic, every time they have a smile for us, they have a smile for the patients, and we all as a team make a difference. Every day I come to work, not just from my office, but from everywhere, from administration, from everyone I talk to, they really care about what you have to say. I've been in the healthcare system for about five years now. It's my first job where I came in and I like it more every day that I'm here. I feel very prideful working at Planned Parenthood. Not everyone can say that while they're working, random strangers come into your facility just to say thank you for their services. I feel like I wake up every single day knowing that I'm going to do something important, something that I'm proud of, and that's special. That's not something you find just anywhere. I feel honored. This is an organization that I always wanted to work for. I feel like I am able to give back and able to serve a population that I feel is very underserved. And I feel that I'm able to empower women through what I do. It's just an incredible feeling to work for a company that is really behind what they stand for. My most memorable moment has been when checking in a patient. She actually started crying out of happiness because she found out her services were going to be covered. First couple years in, I was working clinic. We had a patient who actually was waiting outside our building. She was always told, if you feel like you're ever not safe, you can always come back to us. That kind of resonated her a few visits in, and we helped her. We got everybody who needed to be involved. And we 
The best things about our culture are that we are so open-minded and non-judgmental. We open our doors to anybody and everybody. We never judge anybody, no matter what they're going through or the decisions that they've made. And I think that that's really amazing. And I'm so proud to do that every day. As a clinician, this is the first time that I felt like I've actually had a voice where I work at. Everyone in admin, all of my managers, they're so excited about the ideas that we come in with, about what we have to say. It's truly, truly an empowering experience and my favorite job I've had so far in healthcare. This is not just a job, this is a mission. It's commitment to help people and provide care no matter what. From the day you're hired to your everyday experiences, you are part of a greater purpose and it's something that is modeled and taught in everything that we do. Whether you're an employee or you're a patient, we understand your needs and we're there for you. I love my job and I love the fact that, that we're able to provide such amazing care to anybody no matter their walk of life. Having a patient leaving the clinic with a thank you. Thank you so much for not judging me. Thank you so much for helping me. That's, that's a great, that's the way things that you can take home. So it was, you just can't pay people to say those things. We caught them at a great time, offered them a little bit of PPPSW swag, and they said the most amazing things. And thank you to all those employees. So we also, from that, developed several shorter videos using the same footage to maximize those efforts. And then came November 8th, and more recently, the House vote on health care changes. Hiring has become more difficult as politics collided with health care and defunding worries have impacted hiring. Candidates have questions about funding, stability, even the future of Planned Parenthood. So we turn back to Brandemics to help us address the change and meet the challenge head on. I'm calling it Employer Branding 2.0. We needed to come up with a plan because our Amazing Careers website wasn't answering the new questions. So we asked ourselves, what are we gonna do to turn this around? A project plan was developed and our phase two discovery process was underway. We went through a similar discovery process, starting with surveying everyone in our applicant tracking system, along with current clinicians, to really understand the new era we're operating in. We also had a second cross-functional ideation session facilitated by Brandemics, and this time we included a wider scope of key players to help Brande Brandemics and us truly understand our new reality. We work with Brandemics to develop new messaging. So you see protecting women and funding for reproductive health the different career tracks clinicians can choose within our agency. Of course, we want to share the benefits of working for a nonprofit and mission-driven organization. Relay that the stability of the organization is tied to the stability of the movement, which really is stronger than ever. And instead of being on the defensive, we want to be on the offensive. This may not be your forever job, but wouldn't this be the greatest time to be here? So again, our mission, our messaging is very mission driven. We have to find people who are passionate about the mission and want to be here at this incredible time. We have to find the candidates that will find this appealing. So then we take the messaging, we're in the process of taking the messaging and turning it into deliverables. So more engagement, updated FAQs, our boomerang referral, I'll walk through each of these, influence the influencers, employee testimonials, defense to offense, and information cascade. So the updated FAQs are to address the questions about our services and about the political environment. The boomerang referrals, we're reaching back out to any of our top-notch clinicians who have left the organization and ask them if the time is right for them to come back or if they know anyone they would refer to us. And of course, we let them know they would be eligible for our $1,000 external referral bonus. 
influence the influencers. So one big aha moment I had was realizing that it might not be the candidate who has concerns, but once they talk with their circle of influencers, someone is bound to have questions. Brandemics is helping us create an infographic candidate can share with their influencers to help them understand why this is such a critical time to be involved with the Planned Parenthood mission. Employee testimonials. Candidates want to hear from real employees about what it's like to work for Planned Parenthood. So here's an example of another time we capitalized on something we were already doing. We'd received donated baseball tickets and we're going to raffle them off on our employee intranet. But we took that opportunity to ask that in exchange for a raffle entry, employees would tell us why they love working for Planned Parenthood. From defense to offense. This has been one of the more exciting ideas for me, realizing that we don't just want to hire, we want and need the right hire. It means putting it all out there right from the start. We ask for commitment to the organization and to our mission because this is a unique time to come and work for us. We believe this is a special time and there is no other job like this at a time like this. And finally, the information cascade. We want to share information about funding at the level the candidate wants and needs it. Some people just want the basics and some people need a lot more information. We are developing a cascading approach to how to share the information as it becomes available. So as I look back over our journey, and it's been an ongoing and iterative journey, it has become ever more clear that your employer brand is not something you can just purchase off the shell. It's not turnkey. You have to do the work. But it doesn't have to be hard. I've worked with Brandemics for over five years, and I trust their process and have seen the result. They've been able to take what feels like many different thoughts, concepts, and inputs and translate them into clear, concise, and visually appealing deliverables. Another benefit to the process, especially the 2.0 ideation session, is that we are now working more together and aligned internally. We have a shared vision and path. We're working cross-functionally to develop a clinician retention program that will pull in the learnings from the Brandemics discovery process, as well as new, newly collected internal data. I would like to thank you all for your time and open the session up for any Q&A. Laura, thank you so much. Uh, if anybody has any questions to reach out to Laura, please write them in the chat box. Uh, the one question that I have for you, Laura, is what is it that you are looking forward to? On our branding journey? Yes. Oh, go back one slide so that people can see where to download the deck. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay. So if anybody wants a copy of the deck, you can find it at bit.ly slash highstakeseb. And we'll also be sending out an email to all attendees where you can download the information. I'm sorry, Laura. What were you saying? Where are you going? So I, yeah. So I think I'm really looking forward because we still are getting questions and those influencer influencing the influencers. So really being able to answer the questions publicly, I think the updated FAQs, which we're in the process of finalizing, that I'm really excited about. And then really finalizing that infographic and any future iterations of that, that our candidates can share with their influencers, because that's been a really interesting discovery to see that it might not be the candidate, but as they talk about possibly working for Planned Parenthood, the circle widens and widens and someone has got questions and we want to answer those questions. That's fantastic. Well, Laura, thank you so much and I hope that everybody who is on the call reaches out to learn more about what the journey looks like as well as how you can help make sure that the organization remains successful in years to come. Thank you so much for attending.